Hey Sam here. Wake up this morning on Saturday the 23rd of December with a pleasant surprise and it's optimism. Optimism at this point was a challenge to, to get it right. This was a reversal but no idea where it's going to head and I kept holding it knowing that okay it broke the previous high and just I need to be disappointed that it came back down and uh, we made a, a trade here made some but we didn't know when to take profit not much of the profit we did say take some profit but it was just difficult and this grind line i saw okay this is some sort of rising wedge but look at that it didn't really drop much so we we i did not accumulate i, I can't recall if i added anything to it can't remember but we on my one of my videos just recently i think it was solana or bitcoin i think i'm not sure with the i did mention in the video that um, optimism is in the same position to break out and i was right this was it so if you missed that video you would have had a chance to look at it and um but i didn't expect this kind of move so i'm pleasantly happy uh, or surprised this morning to see that it's continuing on. What I saw yesterday was at this level, and I thought, okay, it'll take out the liquidity and then pull back. I was wrong. Now it's taken the all time high out. So that is our all time high. And the, the scenario is that what is it going to do? Well, if this is a um, and you can see this clearly that this is a trend line of some sort and that's a breakout here we had our sell and climax in this phase we are ar secondary test up thrust and then the spring so i would say that is a classic walk off accumulation this is a shake out phase this is the pump. Based on what I did with the Fibonacci, this is a bullish version. Based on uh, making that as one and that as zero. And you can see how the 618 acted as a resistance here. We have these targets for the short term. So if it does come, I will look at the $1.4 as resistance. That's with the assumption that. It doesn't go back all the way down and then reach and then back up again so it can do that i would dare say that this will pull back and then consolidate under resistance of some sort and that could be also resistance or and then come back down and that could be all, all, all is written just for the next phase and again it will be difficult to stay in the trade at this point, if I was you, I'll take some profit. There is two scenarios. Um, the alts are kicking off. Can so optimism keep going and then even surprise us more? So let's have a look at it from a, a big picture perspective. We, we have our local stuff. There is no trade available. Um, you want to see some topping off structure, maybe enter some shorts. But at the moment, there's nothing there. So if we look on a smaller time frame, all right, the 15 minute. So, if that's a 15 minute trend, I would look at the indicator. So, yeah, so there is some bearish divergence. The 30 minute trend is still bullish. So, what I would expect is a bit of a rejection candle there, the golden ratio. So, I'm expecting this to come down. Potentially, even the 786. Okay, let's just have a look. It's likely, in my opinion, slowly, if it comes down slowly and finds support here with the ribbon. We might just get another bounce but it might get a double top this is this is a bit problematic not the best setup 50, 30 minutes let's just look at uh another time 20 minutes let's we'll say 20 minutes is probably better yeah the 20 minute i like the 20 minute it's still still looking good so i'm, I'm expecting that to pull back a bit if you want to look for the trade it's a called the cradle setup the cradle setup terminology came from shadow cob i believe I think this, if this comes down and finds support on the 0.5 at this previous resistance, with the moving averages, it might qualify. 
as this is still convergent on the smallest time frame no but we'll look, we'll look for the candles a bullish candle here if it comes in slowly and nicely look for a bullish candle or a reversal candle and then back in but i think this might go sideways for a while and we and potentially like that and then pop out again so i'm looking for high, new highs as long as bitcoin's not dropping suddenly it's probably going to do well let's have a quick look at bitcoin wrong chart yes yeah, so i think bitcoin that 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 tells us that it's likely to go up again and still i'm still looking for this move to the upside the weekend trap that is a weekend trap so here is a weekend trap it, it can come back down if it comes down here that i think that's going to be a nice entry this is a shakeout so this could happen if it happens and we have a, a an sfp or pin bar but um candle we might we might be able to go up like that so the other aspect is that we can go up straight like this this was a sfp and you can see it didn't really work i didn't enter it i just thought this is not going to happen i think this will go up so it was a good call and uh so that's where it is on bitcoin bitcoin is still going to go sideways it's a weekend trap so come i reckon nothing will happen over the weekend that will give the ults a, a, a go if it drops we'll look for this level to go back up um but it's more that will be bearish in a sense because we can also come back down more and retest this level here i don't think it's going to come down all the way here but if it does i spoke about it there is a scenario that i'm looking at and that's that there all right so back to our optimism let's have a look at it on a big picture perspective okay now we have this structure previous bottom if this is our one let's look at it from this perspective now the golden ratio makes sense look price is broken above retest the golden ratio and then now it's up so that makes sense so short term wise i'm looking at these prices this is likely to continue i love to trade this and i I spoke on the small time frame how to enter that. Knowing that it's broken the previous high, it might just work to continue to go up. So looking at that, looking at it from this perspective, we have these targets. So that's target one. Now the other bullish scenario is that we make this our golden ratio. Give me a sec. That was a nice breakout trade. That is a nice squeeze. Measured move. Let's look at the measured move for this one. Give or take to the bottom. So we, we yes. So six dollars is what we're looking at. If this is a measured move, based on a few assumptions. Now the thing is, this this way is very difficult to predict. This other way, where you make that top one zero, that could play out as well pretty clearly uh, so there's a few options there to figure out but what I have is consistency with one and the 1.272 with the measured move so this level makes sense at this point about six dollars potentially and now if we were to get a channel just play play the, the scenario out that makes sense as well so we're in an up channel and i do feel like this level six dollars is going to be potentially a good target we've also got the 2.618 as well so we have that range give or take we we're in that area that zone is going to be resistance from a fibonacci perspective and i'm going to leave it at that there is nothing else i can talk about the breakouts taken place, don't miss out. There you have it. Please give Sam a like, share, and subscribe to his channel to support him for doing more of these posts.